Hey guys, it's Becca back here with the Millie family, and I know I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, but, um, just been really busy with, like, um, life, and college, and things like that, so I am now making a video, and I'm really sorry about not making them sooner. Um, I have been playing quite a lot, and a lot has gone on. Um, since my last update, and I'm going to try and start making them more often so that a lot's not happening in between, but, yeah. So, let me just show you the family tree really quickly. Um, I know I did this in the last video, so I'm not going to try and go through it too much. Um, Derek and Cheryl haven't had another child yet, but she is pregnant. Um, Sadie, uh, well, all of Dre's children have are pretty much teens, except for Sandy. Um, Charlotte's kids are teen and child now. Um, Christy has moved out and has Reese with her husband. Is he her husband? No, her fiancé named um, Rahim. Um... Just recently, uh, Carly and Kimberly have moved out because they aged up, and Kimberly is dating her, uh, Jeannie, which I thought would just be cool to try and get some, like, one of each supernatural into the family somehow. Um, Courtney has, um... Well, Chloe, Cammie, and Clara have moved out because they've aged up. Um, Katie is 18, and it's Camden's birthday, like, when we start playing. And also, Kane now, which is her vampire son, um, is a teen, uh, toddler. And um, her husband, Colin, is a vampire. Casey is still married to Adam, and she still has the, her kids Chase, Aaron, Callie, Aiden, and Alan. And uh, Daniel has added Dallas to his three kids. Um, and he also has a Simbot living with him named Amy, and she has a son named Ace. And then we have, like, Dean and Christine and Caden and Camilla is the youngest of all the children. And she is a child. So we are getting very, very close to getting 15 kids and 30 grandkids. And if you don't know why I'm doing that, it's because of the um, showtime comes with the badges that you can get. And that's one of the badges. And well, actually, two of the badges. One is to have 15 kids, and then the next one is to have 30 grandkids. So you might as well just do it in one. And, um, so yeah, I'm really, really close. Um, I think I need three more kids. And, uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we need, uh, three more kids and eight more grandkids. So we need to get moving on with it. Um, okay, so it is... Camden, uh, it's, well, it's going to be Camden's birthday, once we decide to throw it for him. And I do have Supernatural now, and if you can hear it, the bees are right here, which I'm actually going to move them because they kind of fly into the house a bit because it's too close to the house. So I'm just going to put it out back, like that. Okay, um... And we have a couple of cool gnomes that you can see. This one is, I have no idea, it's just like a wrapper. And this one is the vampire gnome. And let's send Katie to school. Um, I just, like, jumped onto this house, so that's why she's not there already. But she has an F in school, so she is not doing very good. Um... I'll try and show you some of the features um, that come with Supernatural, um, but yeah, this is Camden, and there's Bonilda and in her maid, um, maid outfit, whatever you call it. Um, I have no idea why she's in her wedding dress still, and 
I don't know if I've shown you, but I think I showed you Colin. But that's Colin right there. He is a vampire. And, um... And... Um... I do plan on changing him back at one point. But I, I wanted to get a vampire kid just to keep the vampire, like, gene going through the family. Um, not sure how long I'm going to want to do that. But I also want to get a fairy and a werewolf and, you know, ghosts and stuff mixed into the family. So, we're working on that. But right now, we're waiting for Camden to age. She's going to take care of Kane. Okay, so this is Camden, and since I didn't play this household while he was um, going through his toddler years, he has developed the Daredevil trait because I didn't play. Um, he doesn't really need to eat any cake, so I don't know if we're going to let him do that. Um, Um, okay, well, I guess we'll let him do that quickly. And she gets a memory, which, I don't know why mine do this. They, like, split the screen for some reason. But you can see Bonilda right there. Um, anyways, <laughs> it's just saying that, um, Courtney's proud that Camden became a child. And I'm pretty proud that he became a child, too. I mean, I remember the day he was born. Like, it was yesterday. Um... Sure, um, I don't know, I don't know. Um, then after he is done, we're going to actually modify, well, modify, what am I talking about? We're going to change his appearance and plant his outfit. And this was the, um, the triplet, uh, Chloe, Claw, and Cammy's room. But, I mean, it's pretty boy, it could be boy room too, so I'm not really going to change much. And then this is just Katie's room. And this is the toddler's room. And I'm not, I don't think that I'm going to have Courtney have any more kids. Because I'm pretty, like, satisfied with what she's got. But, I mean, I, you never know. So, the cribs are just going to stay here. Because someday they'll probably move out anyways. So, it's not like it's a big deal anyways. And Bonilda's is going to have some cake with us. Stop eating cake. That's not, it's not even going to do anything for you. Just, just stop. Stop. Put your cake away. No one... And why don't you potty train Kane? Because I'm sure he has to go at least a little bit. Yeah, he does. Um, Kane, um, has blonde hair like Courtney, and I was very proud about that. But, um, Camden has red hair like his grandfather. And Katie has hair like her father. So we kind of got the mix of the hairs now, so I don't really need to play around with it anymore. And, yeah, just like a lot of things are happening. And um, we actually have an elder now in the game, too. Um, Bart's wife, Layla, is now a elder. So she could pass away any day. And the toddlers that she gave birth to, um, they are actually children now. So... She's been around for enough of their life, I guess you could say, but I mean, I'd like her to live longer to achieve her lifetime wish. Um, let's see. We're going to go with that hair, and we're going to stick with the eyebrows he has. And maybe we're not going to go with that hair. I don't know. I, like, I can't decide on boys' hairs lately. And I try not to keep using the same ones, because I don't want everyone to look the same. But, like, I have, like, everybody. Like, everybody has, like, a hair already. And it, like, leaves me with very few choices. Hmm. My phone is going off. Someone has texted me. That hair is just ridiculous. Why would you ever want that hair? 
I just, I don't know. And I always choose, like, these, that curly-haired one or this one for the kids. And, like, I can't keep choosing it because I have it, like, on everybody. So we're going to go with this hair, I guess. It's, like, the best hair that I have because I need to, like, buy some new hair from the Sims Free store. Okay, so now he's going to change his outfit. We're going to plan his outfit quickly. And I can show you some of the clothes that came with Supernatural, which I'm pretty sure, like, everyone's seen, but, you know, you know how I am. Sorry, I was texting. Um, let's see. Since he has red hair, I think brown clothes would look good on him. Um, let's see. Let me show you a couple of the outfits that came with Supernatural. Um, they have this outfit here. Which you think is actually really cute. I haven't, like, really checked out the children's, but I'm really liking that. And it comes in a couple of different colors, which I'm loving this. Um, I think this is for, for fairy, for fairy children, maybe? I just, I feel like it's like Peter Pan. Um... Then, let's see, that's it for kids in every day, and then I don't think there was anything in these two, no, there wasn't. So maybe we'll have him be in one of these then. I really kind of like these. Maybe it's more, like, like, um, formal then. Now my phone's going off. Sorry about all of this. I'm not answering it, so... Um... I'm really sorry. I really am. Um, I'm not sure if I should do that one, or this one, or this one. Or if I should choose something else, because that kind of looks more formal to me. So let's see, what else do we have? This is really cute. It's from the Sims 3 store, and it's like a rocker outfit. It's really cool. I actually might get from that. Even though it's red and I said we shouldn't do red. I actually really like it, so maybe we'll do that. And you know what kind of makes me mad is like, um, like some of the stuff, like why would you have like boys wear it? Like I would never have boys wear it. Because it just, it doesn't seem like a boy's outfit to me. I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it just, it doesn't seem like a boy's outfit to me. Or boy's shoes to me. Like, I would never put these on my boys. Never. Um, you probably can't even see it. But, they're like the girly shoes. Like, I've never put that on them. But, we're gonna give him, um, let's see, we're gonna give him red sneakers. And then, formal, we are going to give him, hmm, let's see, formal, we are going to give him one of these, because we really like these, and we're going to change his shoes to these nice, like, formal shoes, okay, and then, um, Let's see, pajamas, we can give him no shirt, but we'll give him, I 
Um, these are um, custom content, but we're just going to give them to them like wet pets, kind of. We think that'll be cool. Um, for athletic, we can just give him, um, we'll just give him a different color of what he's already wearing and different shoes, so they look like workout shoes, which I just gave him sneakers. <laughs> and then swimwear, I think that thing is hideous. Sorry, but I know a lot of people think it's cute, but I think it's really hideous. Like, why the heck would you ever put that on your child? Anyways, we're going to give him watermelon pants. And that's it. That's Tamsin, and he is now a child. And, yeah, so that's exciting. He actually needs to use the bathroom now, though. Okay, well, let's get him to use this then. And he gets a memory from making a new outfit. But my people never load in that, which is really dumb. This is something that came with Supernatural right here. It's a planter pot for in your house. It's really cool. Like, um, you can just, like, tend to it in your house and you don't ever have to go outside. Um, this is Bonilda's, um, I guess, like, coffin, I guess. Um, it's like her house, kind of, like her bed. This here is a gem cutter, which I think is the best idea ever because then you don't actually have to go and like individually cut things if you can just stand here and like cut and cut and cut and cut like all you want like all the gems you find out in the world or in um like vacation spots or whatever you know you can just cut them right there and it's so much better um okay i guess i have to take this so i'll be right back okay guys sorry about that but you can't ever send a man to go buy one thing at a store without him, like, not being able to do it on his own. Okay, so, um, Camden is sleeping because he's tired now. And Kane is playing with his blocks after he was just potty trained. Um, there's a new move that they get when they see Bonilda. It's called, um, Scared. Scaredy cats are scared of pretty much everything, but they really show it when their life flashes before their eyes, and that's what they get from seeing Bonilda. But yeah. Anyway, so let's get you to uh, feed in a high chair. And what is he doing? We're going to send him to the science lab and we're going to get the vampiric cure because I made him a vampire but I'm going to change him back just because his lifetime wish is to plant and grow eight different species of perfect plant and I just feel like it's really hard to do that when he's always having to run indoors because he's like on fire or whatever like I just it makes me so mad Um, so, since I was just trying to get them to have a vampire child, which Kane is, so he doesn't need to be a vampire anymore, so we're going to go purchase a vampiric cure, and they have $37,062, and I don't use sheets, I'm not even joking, they've got, raised that, got that on her own, their own. But it's because I haven't given um, Colin a different career. He's on the music career, um, or magician career, and he's at level 10. But that's because he doesn't have a different thing, and I'm not trying to do as much as I was before. Like, as long as they finish their lifetime wish before they die, I'm, like, happy. And that's all I really care about now. Like, before, I think I was just trying to take on too much with these guys. But now I'm going to try and do badges with them. So, right now we're working on kids and grandkids. But anyways, um, 
So yeah, we're going to take Colin and go buy the Vampiric Cure because at least that way he can work on his garden without um, without having to worry about like burning up or whatever. But I do have this glitch um, which is really kind of ticking me off um, that when I go to tend my garden after they harvest one plant it resets my sim and it's a glitch that is with the supernatural game not everybody has it I'm not saying that you have it or whatever if you don't have it that's great but i know a couple of people that do and it's really annoying like it's so annoying because i have to like click each and every plant like harvest 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 but if you click on weed the plant it does it fine it's not a big deal it's just with the harvesting so that's the problem, and it really makes me mad. And so, like, his life much is taking a million years. But he has two of eight, but it's taken me, like, um, how was that, like, 30? Week 30 or whatever when I started with him, and it's week 64 now. So it's taken me, like, 35 weeks to get two perfect plants. So, yeah, it's really annoying. Okay, so he has purchased the Vampiric cre uh, Cure, and it says a vial of Vampiric Be Gone can be found in Colin's inventory. Drinking this elixir will remove all signs of vampirism and return Colin to a normal sim. So that's cool. He wants to talk to give Bonilda a friendly introduction. Socialize with the supernatural. We're not buying bunk beds because we don't need them. And they keep getting that stupid thing like they want to keep buying they want to keep um doing they want to keep buying bunk beds i'm like why do you want to buy a bunk bed why do you want to buy a bunk bed okay so we're going to drink this this cure and it's just a little red bottle if you've never been a vampire or whatever it's just a little red bottle has like a yellow symbol on it i can try and zoom in on it um it's that right there it just looks like blood red, pretty much. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just pretty much it. And once he drinks that, he'll be cured of vampirism, and he'll go back to literally being a regular sim. Um, and, like, his days will go back down, because it's so, like, a, such a long life, if they are a vampire or supernatural of any kind, really. Um, so we pretty much are just waiting for him to actually, like, drink it. It hasn't froze or anything. I don't know why, but this takes forever to drink this bottle. And it does it on everybody's game. But that, people like fast forward. But my game has been acting out when I fast forward, so I try not to. So, what are you, who are you doing? You're married. Don't be doing that. I don't know why you're thinking about somebody's left who must have caught me. Um, but he also has a proud parrot because of the girl graduating because he is their stepfather. Okay, so he's drinking it. And he is now no more vampire. He is back to human being. Which makes my life so much easier. Okay, so let's have him go home now. And he needs to sleep. But he looks so much better as a human than a vampire because he looks just so dead as a vampire. And I know it's kind of stupid to say, but, like, his skin is just, like, his skin is kind of palish now. And, like, when he comes a vampire, he's, like, almost, like, white. It's weird. Like, you, I, you probably don't see it that well on there, but he is. And, um, Kane is going to be the same way. Like, because he's already grayish, and he just looks like, so dead. Um... Also, I wanted to say in this video, if anyone likes these houses that I've been building, um, just shoot me a message and either I can try and give you one of these houses 
or I can build you one for just you because um, I've been building houses for a lot of people recently and people seem to love them so I'm going to start up a site or a YouTube probably of just like the houses that I build and I guess I think that would be a really cool idea. Um, so let's get Courtney to empty this potty for a sauce and turn this TV off because it's so the TV and stuff are like so loud in this game. Knock that off. Knock it off. Why don't you go play with something? Um, let's get him to play with a toy out of the, uh, toy box. Um, okay, this is just getting ridiculous. What are you doing and where are you? Hey, at least she's got her homework done and she has an F still in school, though. So, she needs to come home because she needs to eat something before she, like, dies. And we'll get her to eat a cake twice. And then we're going to get her to go to sleep because she's really tired. Okay, this is her being scared of Bonilda. They run away like that. I don't know why. Please don't ask. I don't know. Um, let's get her to pick up Kane out of the... And they only do it once in a while. It's not even every time. See, like, she just walks by and she runs. So I don't know. Um, but we're going to try and potty train Kane again because... It will be his birthday at some point in the near future, and he's going to need to know how to pot be, go potty, so let's potty train him. What is wrong? You can't get to this. He's getting rid of you. He can't get to this? How can you not get to this? I can't believe he can't get here. Like, seriously, what are you doing? Okay, well then just play with us. Don't worry about getting a toy. Just play with the boat that's already in your inventory. Yeah, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Okay. Better? Good. Now you should be able to get a toy out of it no matter what. Okay? Okay. Um... So, this, she's still potty training. He's not even halfway done yet, which is crazy talk because he's been, I feel like it's taking forever. And he's really tired. So let's get her to put him in his crib upstairs. Let's go upstairs. And put him in his crib. Hopefully Bone Hilda doesn't scare her so she like runs off crazily again. Like always. Okay, guys, we can't all go out the door at the same time. One after the other. Come on. Oh my god, she's gonna run away now because she got scared. See? It's just crazy, they just run. And then like that all their actions are are cancelled. Now let's get her to put Kane in his crib again. And I thought I'd turn this thing off. Honestly, this needs to be once in a while here. Okay, so it's glitching because I can't turn it off. All I can do is play with it. So we're going to need to buy a different one because when they glitch, I can't fix them. This is so crazy, like my, it's not even me, it's not even my game, it's just like, just keep doing this stupid stuff. Okay. Okay. So, this garden really needs to be tended, I can see there's a lot to harvest, which is good, because we need no. lots. Oh no. Alright. Um, so she's putting Kane in his crib, and Katie is home, and I know you guys haven't really seen Katie, so I'm going to quickly try and zoom in a bit on her. You can see her. She, this is a new hairstyle that comes with Supernatural, um, and it has like this, and it's recolorable, like you can make any color you want. 
This outfit is from the Symmetry store, and it actually comes with the leg warmers that are on her legs, right there. And I just recolored the outfit, and then the shoes are just normally just the game. Um, she actually has one of the new traits that's Night Owl, I believe. Um, yeah, Night Owl. And what it does is your Sim will find several activities much more fun when it's late at night. Your Sim's mood will suffer if they are awake too early in the morning, and your Sim's mood will benefit by staying up late. So she's got this moodlet here, enjoying the late night, and it says, look at the clock, it's past 11 p.m., and the night is just getting started, and that's exactly the way Katie likes it. So she likes to be up late at night, and she likes to get up later in the morning. So like going to school gives her a negative moodlet because it's too early for her to get up. Um, let's see how Colin's doing. I was thinking I was going to get him up because there's not really much going on. And we're going to take care of the garden now. And just perfect. A supernatural here. Um, she's actually paparazzi. Her name is Eva Peck. And she's one of the paparazzi that follows all of my household sims. Every single house, like Derek and all of them. Um, and she is a fairy, if you couldn't tell. Um, she is, she has one of the larger sets of wings that you can um, choose from. And her wings are green. And so, yeah. Um, I actually have it set that everything, even the celebrities, still come into my town, but only because I feel like if I shut one thing off, then I should shut them all off, and that would just be kind of dumb. Then what was the point of getting Supernatural in my eyes? But, like, you can shut celebrities off in Supernatural now, which is really cool. Um, so, I'm going to show you the glitchy thing that goes on when I click 10 Garden with this, with the little garden he has going on. Um, but... Yeah, it's really annoying. Like, I get so mad because I just want to be able to do it quickly and not have to stand there and, like, watch him. But, like, I have to stand there and watch him because, like, because, like, um, I can't do anything else. And you're in your sister's way to go to bed, so you need to go out here. Go. Get out of your sister's room. if you can go to sleep, please. Yeah. Run like the wind. Can you please go, Camden? Thank you. Okay, so we're going to have her go to sleep. And Camden's not tired because I already made him sleep once. So he's not tired now, but he's going to need to. Oh, I bet you we missed the glitch. <laughs> okay, well... I can show you again, because it does that every time I do this. Alright, so tend garden. So he's going to tend this um, tomato plant right here, which is like harvesting and uh, watering, or no, probably not watering, uh, weeding, but there's no weeds on it. So it's just harvesting, and then watch what happens to him when he's done. He like glitches right back to the way he was before. So, like, I have to go through and, like, click harvest, but I can't, like, click repeatedly because after, if I do, it just cancels them all out anyway. So, it's not even, like, it's worth it. But, yeah. So, it's really kind of stupid and it's really annoying. And Courtney got scared by Bonilda again. Oh, boy. Um, so, let's get her to go to sleep and... We, again, need to click some things we're going to do. And she needs to harvest. He actually has an elixir. He got it as a gift because now in Supernatural you can send gifts to your friends. And it's a vial of bliss. So, yeah, he's got that. And let's see. He's going to need to harvest this plant. And I'm not joking, like, this is so annoying. 
And Courtney's still running from Bull and Hilda. She's never going to go to sleep. Gwenilda's kind of like a pain in the butt in a way because they keep doing that. It's kind of like the Simbot from Ambition. It's just kind of really annoying that she just like won't go to sleep and she's like dead tired. It's just really annoying. Okay, let's so see. So we need him to harvest this lettuce plant. No. Yes, there is. You can to harvest this. Harvest. I'm seeing now she's running outside because she's scared. And then it cancels out all of her actions. And she's really stupid. Like, I'm just going to let her go do it herself then. Um, alright, let's see. Alright, we need to harvest this plant. And I know this is probably really a boring video, probably, because, like, he's just, like, I'm just, like, choosing every plant to harvest, but that's what I gotta do. And there's, like, a timed, um, a timed badge that I want to get, and you have to get, like, $50,000 from har harvested, harvested items, and that's, like, crazy amounts of money. Like, $50,000 is a lot of money. So, no, we're not using the plant. So that's gonna take, like, forever. He needs to harvest this tree, and the little guy is out here, the little rocker dude. <laughs> um, this one is a plasma fruit uh, plant that needs to be harvested. And then we have all these trees in the background, which I don't know how many of them need to be taken care of. But, let's see. This one does. See, look, she just keeps running away because she's scared of Bonilda. So we might, I wish I could get, I wish you could control Bonilda, to be honest. I think that would save me some time, but... You can't actually control her. You can just like dismiss her. That's it. What I might have to do is she won't go in there and go to sleep pretty soon. She can like pass out. And then I'm going to be laughing because I told her like 75 times to go to bed. And it's going to be her fault that she didn't. But yeah. So this is what I have to keep doing to get um, him to do his garden. Which, as you can tell, takes a lot more of my time than it would if I could just click Ken's garden and he did the whole thing. But I obviously can't. So, until I get a new patch, which probably won't be until around season, or probably with seasons, actually. Then, this is going to happen for, like, the next two months. And that's really annoying. Um, okay, well, after... He's now done, so let's just get him to go to sleep. And finally, she chose to go to sleep, and she's actually going. Like, it's taken her that long. And Camden is having some bread and jelly. And Bonhild is having some cereal. It's just weird that she eats, because she's not, she's like dead. And, like, I understand vampires are dead, but they drink blood, and that's what they do on here. But she actually like, eats like real food. But where does it go? Like she's so small. And she has a manly voice. As you can tell. Pretty manly to me. Okay, so after he eats that, we're probably just gonna have him go upstairs and go to sleep because it's a Tuesday morning and it's like five thirty seven and he's getting a bit tired. And he's going to obviously have to go to school. Because he's in school now. Yeah. Okay, so. We're going to get him to come upstairs. And we're going to get him to go to sleep. Which he is a daredevil, as I said. He got that with aging up. And so now... 
he does like everything with extreme in front of it. So he is, he kind of reminds me a lot of, I know it's going to sound stupid, but his grandfather because he has the red hair and the daredevil trait and all that. Okay, so he's in bed now, which everyone is sleeping, so the time is fast forwarding, fast forwarding through their sleeping, which I wonder when Kane's going to get up. Oh, not for a little bit, I mean, um, So actually while we're like waiting, well, the kids are getting up, but um, I can just choose things for them to do. Quick put them in the use and see like he takes an extreme shower until it's extremely clean, like, which is weird in my eyes, but that's because he has a daredevil trait right? and they just pretty much need to go pee and take a shower, so that's what they're going to do. But while they're doing that, oh, she, her new moodlet now is, it's too early. Ugh, it's way too early for a night owl to be up and around, back to bed. And that's from her, obviously, her night owl trait. Um, I was just going to show you quickly a few of the houses that I've recently built. And thought that you would like to so this one here, um, this one here is, um, Cami Car and Chloe's house, and it does have a basement to it. Um, this one here is Julia's house, because she has also aged up and has moved out on her own. And she's got, like, a little long cabin, it's really cute. And we've got, this is just like a little hangout, like you can go here, and actually, there is a fairy here, Casey Siegel, who is Alyssa Siegel's uh, mom, and Alyssa is dating Charlotte. But I made this for a friend for her story for Facebook, it's supposed to be like an adoption agency, but it can, it's just like office, there's not really much to do here, to be honest. Um, and then this one here is for, um, another, the like our twin, twins or triplets, whoever moves out next, pretty much. Plus, I've also built this house here, which is the house that I built for Race M 282. Um, I haven't heard back from her if she liked it or not yet, but I'm thinking she probably did. Um, and I added some of the super, the supernatural items to it, and it's just, um, I think it's a three-bedroom house. Um, then I added, or er, built this house here, which is gorgeous in my eyes. Um, this house here I built for a friend who does a story on Facebook as well, um, different friend though and yeah it's just really pretty I think and if anyone wants any links for these um these houses just let me know um they're all up for grabs pretty much and yeah it's just I just built them like on my spare time and yeah so let me know what you think and that's pretty much it um so let's jump back over to the house. No. We're going to jump back over to the house because the kids are on the bus now. And... Okay, well, I guess she didn't get on the bus, which kind of takes me off because she's already doing bad in school. She isn't really skipping. Um, but he got on the bus. Camden did, so at least he was a good kid. 
Um, yeah, so she's going to school now. And I just have to say, I think she's one of the really pretty sims that have come out of, like, the baby-making process in this game so far. Um, let's see. Uh, Kane is sleeping, but he is just about to get up, and he's going to need to eat and to have his diaper changed. And he's also going to use some social, so... We are going to get Colin to get up and take care of him. We're going to change his diaper, um, attack him with the claw, and then feed him in the high chair. And I don't know what she's doing, but um, Bonilda is right here. <laughs> she's like checking herself out, even knowing she doesn't have any skin. But, um... Camden gets a memory for his first day of school, so I'm going to share that. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. Okay, and we're waiting on Colin now to get up out of bed. Okay, well he's up now. And this is supposed to have pictures in it from the photo booth from Super, no, um, Showtime. But there's no pictures in it when I took it out of his inventory, so I don't know what happened to that. I don't know, like, what happened to the picture. Which is kind of sad, because those pictures were of him and Courtney. I mean, I can always do more, but it's just sad that, like, they lost the first one. So, he wants to prepare autumn salad for, no, 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 Bonilda, no, you are not his parent, move Bonilda, no, get out of the way, move it. They're like, he's my kid now. Um, so seeing people like having Bonilda as like their family and like having kids with her, I don't know if you can actually do that. But like if I click on her, I don't even get romantic interactions. You can just chat with her, dismiss her, or be a magician. So I don't understand how they're having kids with her. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of weird in my eyes. And he also wants to, um, he also wants to potty train Kane, so we can do that too. Um, can you take care of him? Oh, he already changed his diaper. Now he's going to attack him with the claw. And then bring him downstairs and feed him in his high chair. Which I think that's a really cute interaction. And Courtney really needs to get something to eat because she's like dying of hunger. And now, because Bonilda went in there to make the bed, she's getting up and she's going to run away. Like, it's so annoying. Oh my god. Um, so let's get her to eat some cake soy then. And... Oh, yeah. See, she's scared, and now she's gonna run away. That was Bonilda. Sounds like a man to me. Doesn't even sound like a lady, or a woman, or anything. Don't need to chip next to my camera. Stop! Okay, so after he feeds Kane, he's gonna need to get some breakfast himself before he dies of hunger. Even knowing now he's not a vampire. But you know his photo picture at the bottom down here hasn't even changed. 
it's still really gray and it still shows the mark on his neck. Which is weird. I don't know why it's not changing. But it's like hunger and stuff changed, so at least that changed. That's all that matters really. Mm, let's get him to eat cereal, I guess. And it's cereal that Bonilla pulled out of the fridge and then set on the counter. And if I zoom in on Kane, um, sure. If I zoom in on Kane, he actually has the little vampire thing on his neck right there. It is cute. And he has little vampire teeth. Because they unlocked the option to use them on toddlers and things <laughs> in Creative Sim when they did Supernatural. So that was exciting. Can you stop it with the stupid cell phone call? Ignore. No. Okay, so she wants to paint. And she wants to teach Kane to talk. And she still needs to finish her lifetime wish. And Kane is having a fit about what? Nothing. Alright, we'll get Colin to uh, potty train him. No, Bonova. She always tries to take care of the children, which I don't mind if I'm sleeping, but when I'm awake, like, why take care of my child? Kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, so let's get um, him to pick up Kane. We're going to try and potty train him again. Hmm. As long as Bonilda leaves him alone for five minutes. <laughs> hmm. Um... I'm going to get Courtney to go upstairs and paint, but she has to, we have to scrap that painting because they don't actually live here anymore. Marge. Um, yeah. So, can you please potty train him now? Thank you. Get up, buff your butt. Oh my god. No. That's not going to help her. It's to find a job that's going to put more stress on her, and then she's not going to get good grades. So well, I ain't going to worry about it. And Katie now has a D in school, so at least she's getting better. Not great, but better. Um, and... Camden has a C, because that's what they start off at. Oh yeah, I gotta choose for him to potty train him. Um, yeah, potty train Kane, please, before he wets himself. And then we will have Colin take a shower, because he's so Um, and it also says try for a baby with Courtney, but... I don't think we're going to do that right now. Um, Courtney is painting. And she has maxed out her painting skill. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she's maxed out her painting skill. So, shouldn't take too long. Hmm. Um, so he is like two-thirds, three-fourths of the way done uh, potty, being potty trained. But we can't do anything now, so we're just going to have him come play with the block. Play with the block, play with the block, please. And let's get... Katie to read the newspaper. To see what's happening in the world. 64 day 3. Um, yes, he can go on a field trip. 
and oh she um Katie is getting scolded because she has bad grades because she's been failing school oh gosh which she stopped showering to do to go scold her which is really kind of stupid and it cancels out her action too. So, yeah, that's really annoying. Let's get her to read this after she's done. And the relationship, father and daughter relationship, is in red. So that's not a good thing. And she has to go into a timeout for an hour. Which they go into, like, the nearest corner. And they just stand there like that for an hour. He said, I have had it. Go take a time out. Um, normally, if you, let, if you click on them, you can actually let them off the hook. And since I want her to do other things besides stand in a corner, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and he's going to forgive her, so... No, now he's going to scold her. Because she came out of her timeout. <laughs> she framed the letter off the hook. Oh my god, this is just ridiculous. This is one reason I don't like generations. Because I don't like the scolding stuff. Now he says... Let's see what he says now. I've had to go take a timeout again. Um... So, no. Um, let's get, let's get, um, I can't even think of his name, Colin to go to the grocery store. And we're going to sell fruits and vegetables for $601. And I was thinking that we should become a owner of something. Come up partner for twelve thousand five hundred. Maybe we can do on the phone or on the computer. You like go on and like buy purchase property. Maybe we can do that. Let's see. All right. Well, let's have him go do that because it needs to get done. And then let's have him come home and we'll have him check real estate and see what he can purchase since he has like. $34,000. Or $34,000. Thirty, $34, um, so it looks like she's painting fruit. Which you guys can kind of see. Look, it looks like she's painting strawberry or um, tomatoes and apples and cucumbers and onions and things like that. So that's pretty cool. And once she's done with that, which we just got the $601, we need to come out here, clean the box, feed the bees, and then harvest the honey. And she actually has finished her painting, and it's a brilliant painting, and it's valued at $2,159. And she gets a uh, memory for painting something brilliant. So we will share that. And let's see. Camden oh, is doing his homework. No, we're not playing video games. We're not playing video games. You're going to read the newspaper and then do your homework until your dad lets you off the hook. That's how it works. And he wants to have his fortune told at the fortune teller thing, which we will do after he's done checking real estate on the computer.
And the girls left like their trophies here because I didn't think that we needed to take them. Um. Oh my gosh. I forgot that Cheryl was having a baby and she had it without me. <laughs> now I just feel stupid. And Winter Bell drowned in the pool. <laughs> what? Okay, um. Let's do cloth. We can buy the gypsy wagon for $15,000. Why not? Well, why not? Okay, and... Now let's go have our fortune told. Isn't that kind of like... Wait, he has a cool one. I've never gotten this before. It says grow a money tree. Never gotten that wish before, so we're gonna actually accept that. I don't even know where to get a money tree seed. So if anyone knows where to get one, leave me a comment below. Because I've never ever found one. Fire sin. <laughs> um, yeah. We want to have our fortune told actually. We don't want to fire sim. <laughs> um yeah, so, I actually made this lot myself, and I put the, um, um, what is that called? Um, I can't even think about what it's called. So let's go into map view and start talking. The Feyre Arbitrum our bushroom, whatever that's that, gypsy wagon. I put them on the same lot. Because I thought they were going to be like building, like that you place and edit town, but it wasn't. You actually had to like edit the lot, and like it was just ridiculous. But, um, musical chairs, huh? And they get a memory for becoming a business part partner. And Courtney is actually dealing with the bees. And she has a bee thing, which is this ouch, stupid bee. It was able to defend itself somehow. And when they're dealing with the bees, they actually put this, like, netted hat on, which is kind of funny. And they do it every single time. But then they take it off, but then she'll put it back on to, tend to do something with the bees again. Kind of weird. Um, but <laughs> that's just what they do, and that's uh, just the bees, pretty much. And you can you can get beeswax and bee honey from taking care of them. And now she has two things. She has a bee thing, and she has bee attack. She says, bees, bees. They're huge and sting crazy. Weapons are useless against them. Um, under the fortune teller's instruction, Colin Daughtry's details every dream he can remember in the last few weeks. The fortune teller sits eyes closed and hands folded, absorbing every last detail. Should the fortune teller continue to gather information or form a prediction now? So we're just going to have her form a prediction on what she already knows. Because you have to keep paying money every single time you stay. And, oh my god, she's like screaming. <laughs> what? Because there's like, see they like swarm around her and like sing her like, and her mood drops into all the way down <laughs> when this happens. So, <laughs> just a funny stance. And it says, so remember to avoid all penguins and you should do okay. That's what the fortune teller reminds Colin. And the fortune teller appears to be concentrating very, very hard. No, wait, they're asleep. No, no, they're just concentrating after all. <laughs> okay. So that is how the fortune teller works. And see, she, <laughs> if you look away from him for one minute, and Bonhilda has him. Like, she doesn't get it. And he has taking precautions. 
okay, there were probably nothing to that psychic prediction. Still, Colin can't quite seem to put it quite out of his mind. And that's from going to the gypsy caravan. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And this is where I'm going to end this video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys in a later video. I'll talk to you guys later.